All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're gonna to do some myth busting in the world of figs. I find there's a lot of information out there in the world of figs that is quite irresponsible and also incorrect or even regurgitated, actually. So not only is it incorrect, but they're regurgitating the same wrong information. And you can find this all over the internet. One of the common things I hear in a almost daily basis is that there's two types of figs. There's white figs, and dark figs, or light figs and dark figs, white figs and black figs. However you wanna put it, it doesn't matter. Clearly that's wrong, because if you see here this bowl of about eight or nine different varieties I've harvested, and I'm growing hundreds of different varieties here in the Philadelphia area, clearly the skin colors are not limited to white figs and dark figs. I have here in front of me blue figs, black figs, purple, red, brown, gray, green, yellow. Uh, there's so many different colors on just the skin color alone because of the amazing genetic diversity of figs. There are thousands of different varieties and to just classify them as white figs or black figs I think is just, again, it's irresponsible. One of the things that actually matters though because the skin, just like us as humans, it's really what's on the inside that counts, right? Our skin color does not determine who we are. And it's the same thing with the figs. It's pretty much inconsequential if we're not identifying the variety and trying to figure out the name of it, it is inconsequential into what it's gonna taste like and what experience you're gonna have. And even kind of the type of fig that you guys may have. I have here on this plate, a number of figs that I've cut open and you can clearly see the different pulp colors here. This is really what matters. And I'll zoom in on this, but at the bottom we have figs that are called honey figs. In the middle row we have sugar figs, and then at the top row we have berry figs. And these are the three main types of figs. It's not white figs, it's not black figs. These are the main types. And I'll, I'll zoom in for you guys right now. Basically, it comes down to the pulp color. The pulp color is what is determining, in most cases, the flavor. And you can see quite a big distinction here. The honey figs down here are almost brown, but typically they're yellow or white in color on the inside. The sugar figs are either brown or light red in color. And then you have the darker red figs, which are berry figs. And typically these are more complex and actually taste like berries. Some taste like cherries, blueberries, strawberries, so many wild flavors that can come from figs. It is incredible. This fruit is incredibly diverse. The honey figs down here and why they're called honey figs is because they resemble honey. Often the fig is producing its own nectar that congeals and looks like a drop of honey that comes from the eye. But obviously it's different than bees honey. It's just not the same. Then we also have sugar figs in the middle these are typically not very complex, simple sugar flavors, but you have all kinds of different sugar flavors that you can pick up. And you may even get some fruitiness that might be approaching the berry figs that we talked about. These are also more along the lines of something similar to a dried fruit uh, and have more of those dried fruit flavors that you guys might actually pick up. So there's quite a diversity in figs. And I would highly recommend that you guys don't just grow one variety, also, don't just grow one type of fig. Get yourself a good variation here. Get yourself a honey fig, get yourself a sugar fig, and get a berry fig. Compare the three and come up with, uh, you know, the comparison that I'm coming up with and a lot of other growers who are growing more than just one variety, come to the same conclusion or come to your own conclusion. Some of the varieties I would recommend, if you wanna try one of each, uh, I think Dotado, or Kadoda or Peter's Honey is a really good choice for a honey fig for most people. Uh, in terms of sugar figs, you can't go wrong with Celeste. Also Black Mission's a pretty good one. And then at the top, I really like things like Green Ashia. Um, we also can choose, uh, you know, probably Hardy Chicago is more along the lines of something approaching a berry fig. But there's thousands of varieties. And so I would recommend you guys can very easily go online, even go to my own website, my blog, look for different varieties that I'm growing. I'm gonna be selling trees and cuttings in November. If you guys are interested, check it out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching this one, guys.
hit that subscribe button for me, hit the like button, and the blog is called figboss.com. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.